welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we are tying a flyer that we've tied already here on the channel, but um, we're gonna tie it again in a little bit different version of it. It's a super simple pattern called the Tapirt, and this is the original version of it. And the thread we are using, it's an 8O Uni Black. And the hook we are using for this task is an RX FW550. It's like a grubber hook or curved nymph number 10. So we attach the thread to the shank of the hook and the, uh, the first step is simply to create the body out of the thread. And that's all there is. The, the body is just black thread. And it's a really simple fly, like I said, and it's totally worth it to to try to, to try it when when it, when it, if you see fish rising, it's just to fish this right under the surface and even strip it a little, yeah, fast and short. A really effective pattern. And uh, yeah, we form the body, finish that uh, by making it with our thread and this fly has given me or gave me through the years enormous catch here in Iceland uh, especially when the when it's uh, when you can when the fish is rising so we take black rooster fibers there we place it on the back and then we kind of twist it so it goes under the under the hook shank and just twist it somehow. Those are the legs of the fly, and you can adjust it. And the most important thing is that there are some legs visible. It's just not a, not a, it's not like a crucial thing, but uh, but you can also skip the legs and just make the wing, and it's gonna work just fine. But I'm gonna yeah place legs on this one because. It is the original pattern by Jon Sigurdsson, my mentor. And as you see, this fly, when you get a grey or a white wing on it, it just looks like some of the gnats that the fish is eating and picking just on the surface or right below the surface. So we have the legs there in place, and the next step is the wing of the fly. And we finish the body part, the legs are supposed to be like there, in the middle of the shank. And we are using a grey mallard duck feather, it's a wing feather from the mallard. And uh, we are pinching out like a decent amount of uh, fibers. And we line them down there. And lightly attach it in the first place and then we tighten down our wraps. We snip off the tag ends, very important. And uh, it looks like a black gnat, and it is fly is very much like that, and it's probably the reason why it all works so well. And like I said, you can just make a hat of the fly right now. Finish it off to the finish and uh, put the varnish on it. And with this length of a wing, the fly is gonna just it's gonna work just perfectly. But uh, the original version of the fly is that you have to trim the wing down to yeah, I'll show you. But before doing that, you'll we'll be of course putting the with finishing knots on it and then just snip off the rest. And here comes the magic tricks. We'll just trim the wing down to this size. Fish it like this, just below the surface. Strip it uh, not too fast, but like fast and short. Just so it's like jumping under the surface. It's really going to work. It's a great pattern called Taupjort. And this is the original Taupjort. Now we just place a little bit uh, of a 
UV one is on it, and solar is one, one pure, it's a really good one is. And sap it with all light. And that's the fly. There is there it is ready. So I just want to say thanks for watching and uh, you may consider to subscribe to the channel. We have lots of material coming in soon. And uh, yeah, like, share and subscribe. I will be pleased if you do that. And, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.